Only 10 measly seconds left for you to scoop up a pair of these Orange O edition headphones, which I am being told selling like fucking hotcakes. And three, two, one, time. Okay, moving swiftly along, we have another product from the Orange Amp family. We have a foot pedal or foot changer, foot switcher, whatever the f you want to call it. I'm not too sure because I'm not a musician. I actually work for a living. So, to better explain all these things, all the technological bullshit, we've got Alex Oxier, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from across the pond. Uh, right this way. Jet lag there. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. It's an opportunity for us to do the new. Is there a problem? No audio? <laughs> it's not my job, is it? Uh, it's been facetious. Get your ass out here, skinny bob, and fix it. I did. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, is that the wide shot that we're. Okay. Why don't we cut to something? Possibly the product. This is absolutely fing filthy. Can we cut. Alex Auxia, ladies and gentlemen. Alex here is a pedophile over at Orange Pedal Amps. Pedophile. I'm a pedophile. I work with pedals. That's exactly what I said, pedophile. So, Alex, uh, what can you tell me about these orange pedals that our viewers at home don't already know? I can tell you and the audience that these pedals have been in production for a couple years. Uh, I'm going to bring out a special guest in a moment to demonstrate the variety of sounds each pedal can produce as I give a more detailed description of their tech specs. Well, that sounds like an absolute snowfest. But we're not here to entertain, are we, Alex? No, we're here to say it after me. Sell some bullshit! Yeah. All right, so you've... Is that something I was supposed to know? You've uh, invited a special guest that me and the entire crew here have got the foggiest idea who it is. So. Uh, you met him in the green room. It's Troy. So that's the f*** that was eating all my strawberries, is it? All right, let's bring out this super special secret guest, ladies and gentlemen, Troy. This is Troy McLawhorn of the band Evanescence. Uh, he's been playing through Orange Amps since their very first album. That's not true. Uh, and once he's all strapped in, we'll just go through each pedal and give the viewers a better idea of what each one is capable of. Wow, well, not really supposed to end a sentence with a preposition, Alex. Oh, and it looks like uh, Evan from Troy Essence has finally found his senses and he's ready to play. The first pedal we have coming up is the two-stroke boost. Are you making a cocktail? Well, the two-stroke boost EQ is our take on the essential clean boost pedal, but with even more versatility. So this one actually combines an active, dual parametric EQ and up to 12 decibels of output boost. So the two-stroke is the perfect tool for fine-tuning your sound or really pushing your amp's front end with unsurpassed control. Why don't you tell us about this pedal? Well, uh, Jeremy, uh, as a traditional stomp box, the Backspan Gitar is in a class of its own. It boasts a unique and hugely versatile gain structure with extensive EQ controls. So you can dial in an enormous range of overdriven and distorted tones delivered with a feel and responsiveness rarely found in pedals. So plug straight into the front of the amp as a standalone drive pedal or plug in the effects return to make the donor amp practically disappear. I had my fingers crossed that I disappeared during that last dissertation. We have four pedals to go, Alex, only two hours, why don't we... Uh... It's a well-known fact that running two amps is not only enormous fun, but also a time-honored way of achieving bigger tones on stage and in the studio. Featuring two buffered outputs, one with a custom-designed isolating transformer, the amp detonator is actually the smallest active, fully functional buffered ABY pedal on the market. And what's more, it's the only active ABY pedal that can be used with a 9-volt battery. So finally, the best part about this thing is a tri-color LED light. Are you bored? Mm. No. I was actually hoping that the amp detonator would literally set off explosive to end this torture. But, Stone the Crows, uh, what else has you got for us, Alex? So the next pedal that we have up is called the Fur Coat. This is a brand new pedal for new us. It's coats. our only true bypass pedal. And the reason for this is that fuzz is always better with a buffer placed in front of it as a passive pickup on the guitar as part of the circuit. This is always best used at the front of the chain, directly connected to the guitar with any subsequent pedals following it. You know, it always truly fascinates me when a grown man creates his own language. It kind of brings to mind the whimsical imagination of an underage toddler. Let's wrap this up, Alex, before I wrap my lips around the barrel of a gun. The Getaway Driver is the next pedal we've got up. This is actually an amp in a box type pedal, and it has just three dials, volume, bite, and gain. While the pedal adds its vintage vibe on any amplifiers, it really excels with an amp's clean channel, uh, even ones with a bright cap. It is a great clean boost, and you can use it for really pushing into classic overdrive territory. 
you know, I'm not going to mince words here. I would love nothing more than to be pushed over an edge myself right now. But why don't you tell us about the last pedal very quickly so I can make my dreams come true shortly. The Compressor is an analog Class A compression pedal which adds an organic three-dimensional quality to any rig. Uh, the pedal takes its inspiration from some of the world's most iconic vintage optical studio units, so it employs a reissue of the famous Vactral VTL 5C3 octocoupler that was responsible for the sound heard on countless hit records. At lower compression levels, the compressor's effect is transparent, but it's still fattening, and really, even at extreme settings, the tone always remains musical with great feel under the fingers. And this is the segment of the show where we normally take some calls from our viewers, but since you're a master at brevity, Alex, I'm afraid we're all out of time. We have time for one phone call. Mm, afraid not. We're going to have to uh, cover it in exclusive web contact. It's standard overtime procedure on the contract. You didn't send me a contract. Folks, thank you for you joining us today. To use email. See you next time this on bull Selling Bullshit. bullshit. Due to the binding nature of contracts, we actually do have to take a few questions from our viewers. Thanks, Jeremy. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and take a call. Looks like we've got uh, somebody regarding the two-stroke boost pedal. So go ahead, caller. Hi. Yeah, where should I put this pedal on my board? Would it be best at the front of the guitar signal or near the end? The two-stroke pedal is actually going to go best at the front of the signal chain. And also, what exactly is a pedal? Next caller, let's see who we got. Okay, go ahead caller. I always lose a lot of bottom end with my current compression pedal. How's the compressor when it comes to keeping that low end? It's very good. Next caller. Let's see, we've got a question about the Backspan Gitar pre-EQ pedal. Go ahead caller. This pedal looks confusing as hell. Why is it so confusing? It's powerful as shit, bro. Gary Busey. Okay, next caller. We've got, oh, Jim Root from Slipknot calling about the ABY pedal. That's cool. I know Jim. Uh, hey, so can I run two amps into the same speaker cabinet with this pedal? Jim, Jim, you know better than that. Also, I can barely hear you. Is, is everything okay? Are you wearing your mask right now? Uh, yeah. Sounds like you're also in the shower. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, you don't want to run two amps into the same cabinet. You're more likely to die doing that than you are getting struck by lightning. Okay. Next up, we got Joe from Fallout Boy. What's going on, man? How are you? Yeah, so I Great. read somewhere that these are like the only true bypass pedals that you make, but like, are the other pedals you make also true bypass? Yeah, no, they're not all true bypass, but uh, thanks again, man. Can we uh, bypass? Uh, no, we can't actually, Jeremy. Next phone call, let's see, who have we got here? Matt Pike from High on Fire and Sleep. Go ahead, Matt, what do you got? I saw this thing had a cab sim on it. Can I use this pedal as a cab sim on its own? You absolutely can. That's one of the best parts about this pedal. You can plug straight out of it into your recording system or whatever, and it just mimics the sound of one of our 412 speaker cabinets. And uh, you know what, Jeremy? I've had enough of this. I really have. This is unacceptable behavior on your part. I know it's your last day. Forget it. Forget it. Doesn't matter. If you guys want more information about our products, then you can go to www.orangeamps.com. But I am done with this. Oh, it just doesn't end. It just doesn't end. F***ing telling me.